For those who want to go deeper in pursuit of game, Nemo has teamed up with First Light to introduce a collection of overnight gear like none other previously designed, keeping you warmer, drier, and more comfortable in the backcountry than ever before. When your hunting expedition demands a rugged base camp, Endurance 2P is the elite four-season tent you've been after. Equipped with technologies extreme mountaineers trust their lives with, Endurance has the features you need to stay in the backcountry longer. Whether you're hunting sheep above treeline or chasing late season elk and deer in deep snow, this integrated double walled tent will provide you with unparalleled insulation and condensation management with the setup speed of a single walled tent. Endurance's 30D nylon ripstop fly and 70D floor are significantly stronger and don't require seam tape. A premium durable silicone treatment on both sides of the fabric increases longevity and provides the most reliable and technical weather protection possible. A large vestibule at the front and secondary vestibule at the rear give you plenty of storage space to protect your gear. Two large doors offer each partner easy entrance and a clear vestibule window gives you needed visibility in bad weather conditions. For a larger party, remove the front vestibules from two endurances and connect them directly without needing an attachment. Multiple strut-supported vents on the fly and double-layered mesh windows on the interior walls promote superior airflow for ventilation and temperature control. An incredibly strong, overlapping external pole structure is built with premium aluminum DAC Featherlight NSL poles for absolute stability in high winds. The external setup with color-coded poles and pole sleeves is intuitive for an ultra-fast setup, saving valuable time and a generous amount of pole clips and strategically placed gatefold carabiners ensure tent integrity and security during the harshest conditions. Secure endurance with shock cord stake points to allow flexibility and evenly distribute stress in extreme conditions. Multiple reinforced guy line options also greatly increase stability when needed. With six separate pockets on the interior walls, there is ample storage for essentials like your GPS, maps, or ammunition. Light pockets allow you to turn your headlamp into a tent lantern through light diffusing fabric. And for greater visibility, especially at night, Endurance is outfitted with orange highlights and reflective webbing and guy lines. When you finally draw the mountain goat tag and need the pinnacle in mountaineering tents, Endurance is the only shelter you can truly trust for serious late season expeditions. Hey everybody, my name is Richard and this is Velocity 12 it's from Jack Wolfskin. This awesome little bag here has tons of storage on the inside. You got a nice little helmet sleeve there in the front so you can attach your helmet. It is hydration compatible too, which is important. Gotta stay hydrated. Got these little bands on the side here, which is perfect for adding a water bottle. Any other accessories you'll be carrying around, you can slide them in there. Tons of padding on these shoulder straps. Back of the bag has lots of cushioning on it too to keep your shoulders, back, everything feeling great while you're carrying around all your gear. The inside of that main compartment here, you have this zipper, comes undone like that. As you can see, you have lots of storage space there on the inside. Don't miss out on it, from Jack Wolfskin. We are GoSun, and we believe the sun can and will power the future. Solar power technology has become more popular and affordable than ever, but we are still burning fuel to cook. It's time to upgrade your kitchen with the GoSun Fusion. More than a solar oven, the Fusion stands on its own as a complete cooking solution. It's portable, yet large enough to feed a family, and can even cook with the sun at night thanks to an integrated electric heating element that cooks using a fraction of the energy of other electric stoves. It uses about the same power as your computer, but cooks a full meal for five in under an hour. If you don't have sunshine, all it takes is the push of a button to activate the 150 watt heater. With the optional lithium ion power bank, you can easily carry enough energy to cook a meal anytime, anywhere. With the solar PV upgrade, the electricity used to charge the power bank can be made from the sun, so you're cooking on sunshine day or night. Safe to touch, even when cooking above 400 degrees Fahrenheit, the GoSun Fusion can bake, boil, or fry many dishes in as little as 20 minutes. 
The Ghost Hunt Fusion is a deliberate evolution of our original stoves. Durable and reliable, bringing together the best of solar and electric heating into an experience we believe is totally game changing. GoSun has been making waves in outdoor cooking thanks to breakthrough vacuum insulated technology. You won't go hungry and you're never out of gas. Our stoves are being used by more than 25,000 happy customers. We've created a full lineup of solar ovens, large and small, but everyone has been asking for a larger oven with the ability to cook at night. After four years of development, it's finally here. We're excited to introduce our hybrid fusion here on Kickstarter, where GoSun began with the help of this community. GoSun Fusion lets you do the cooking at a fraction of the power and a fraction of the fuss, giving you the freedom to do the things you love, to feed those you care for, and to cook off grid without gas. GoSun welcomes you to the fuel-free frontier. Are packed, are you ready to go? This time tomorrow we'll be on the road Riding with you in the sunnier days I wouldn't want it any other way Home is with you wherever that may be Congratulations on your new Camp Stove 2, our latest update to our portable camping stove, now featuring 50% more power, onboard battery storage, and a new LED dashboard. In this video, you'll find quick tips on setup, fire starting, hooking, charging, shutdown, and safety. Let's get started. Your Camp Stove 2 comes in two parts, the orange power module and the stainless steel burn chamber. If you want to get a head start on your power supply, you can pre-charge your power module at home via the micro USB located underneath. To assemble the Camp Stove 2, insert the power module's probe into the burn chamber and lock it into place by extending the legs below. Set it on stable ground clear of any branches and remove any debris or brush from the surrounding area. Now's a good time to get to know the LED dashboard. The orange lights on the left represent the strength of your fire, an indicator of how much heat you're producing. Relatedly, the green lights on the right side show how much power is available to you for charging devices, which will be impacted by the power you generate from your fire. Lastly, the middle blue lights represent four fan speeds available to you to control the airflow and intensity of your flames. Good fire starting starts with good fuel. We recommend using harder woods like oak or maple, which burn longer than fir or pine. You can also use BioLite food safe pellets, which can burn for extended periods of time without any need to refuel. Quick heads up, do not use charcoal and do not use liquid fuels in your camp stove too. Also, avoid using damp or green wood as it'll cause a lot of smoking. If it bends instead of snaps, that's a sign you shouldn't use it. Loosely pack the burn chamber with fuel. Two important things here. One, don't overstuff the chamber. This will prevent airflow for proper combustion. Two. Don't extend your fuel beyond the last row of air jets. This can present a burn hazard and obstruct your ability to place cooking accessories on top of the camp stove. Break off a small piece of fire starter included with your stove and light with a match or lighter and place inside the burn chamber. If you're in windy conditions, we recommend using a barbecue lighter and lighting directly inside the stove. And if you're using pellets, fill up the chamber about three quarters of the way, leaving the last ring of air jets exposed. Once hot enough, the Camp Stove 2's fan system will automatically kick in and start providing air to your fire. If you want to expedite the process, you can press the power button twice to the lowest fan setting. But be careful, this may snuff out a weak flame. As your fire builds, start to add pieces of fuel that are larger in diameter. This will reduce the amount of times you need to refuel, and it'll build a hot, sustained fire. Twigs and brush are great for fire starting, but avoid using them as the main fuel source for your fire. They'll burn quickly, and they won't produce a hot flame. 
The Camp Stove 2 is a fully functioning cook stove, accommodating a range of camping cookware, including the BioLite portable grill, kettle pot, and coffee press. Whenever using cookware with a handle, make sure it is aligned with the power module so flames are diverted away. And if you're using the portable grill, make sure it's facing away from the power module. A couple other tips on the portable grill. The grill's fuel hatch allows access to the flame, but don't overstuff with fuel. Stay at the jets. This shouldn't change the way that you load the stove. To avoid overheating the cam stove, keep your fan on the first two settings. And lastly, you will have a big flame, but flames should not be shooting out of the grill. You run the risk of overheating your unit. If your fire is getting too hot for your cooking needs, you can do two things. One, stop refueling and let the fire die down a bit. Or two, lower your fan speed to reduce airflow and produce a smaller fire. If you're looking to boil, set your fan to the highest setting. But if you're looking to simmer or just enjoy your campfire, use the lowest two settings. Be sure to check out the BioLite blog for an awesome array of recipes you can make with your Camp Stove 2 system. Pro tip, if you're using the portable grill, toss in some barbecue wood chips for extra flavor. The Camp Stove 2 uses a thermoelectric generator to capture heat from its fire and produce three watts of electricity that you can use to charge phones, cameras, and other gear around your campsite. It also features an onboard 2600 milliamp hour battery that can store energy so you can charge even when the fire isn't burning. And as a quick reminder, you can pre-charge that internal battery at home via micro USB. To see how much power you've got available, press the button on the power module once. The green lights will illuminate to show how full the internal battery is and will activate charge out. A full battery will provide a full phone charge and will charge as fast as a typical USB power bank. As you deplete your battery, the green lights will decrease. They'll light back up as you produce electricity from the heat of your fire. To charge devices, simply plug into the USB port located directly below the LED dashboard. Do not use the micro USB port. That's for charge-in only. Your kit also includes a USB flex light that you can use to light your surroundings at night. Just plug it into the USB port and tap on or off with your finger or press and hold to dim. When the internal battery is below 10%, It'll stop charging external devices and reserve power to keep the internal airflow system running. To re-engage charge out, increase your fire to generate more power. If you plug in a device when the battery is hovering around 10%, you may notice it charges in cycles. That's normal. Thanks to the internal battery, you can also use the power module independently as a power bank when the camp stove isn't running. As a reminder, the stronger the fire, the more power you'll generate. This is where checking the orange lights on the left becomes really helpful. However, if your fire gets too hot, the camp stove will issue a temperature alert. The orange LEDs will start flashing all at once. This means your battery needs to cool down. Stop refueling immediately. The fan will automatically turn to the highest setting to assist with cool down. If the camp stove doesn't start to cool down within a few minutes, the fan will shut off completely. When your unit is sufficiently cooled down, the lights will stop flashing and you can re-engage charging devices. The Camp Stove 2 will burn fuel down to ash and turn itself off when the internal temperature is cool enough. If you try to turn the fan off and then it turns itself back on, that means the inner chamber is still too hot. Dump out remaining ash in a fire ring or ash bin, or by digging a small hole and covering it with dirt and water. Do not leave any embers behind. Those can start fires. Also, don't try to dump out the Camp Stove 2 when a live fire is going. If you're looking to expedite shutdown, turn your fan to the highest setting and stop refueling. And don't pour water into the burn chamber. When the stove is sufficiently cool, you can take it apart and nest it. Pro tip, if you're concerned about residue, place the power module inside the included stuff sack and then place that inside your burn chamber. And if you have a kettle pot, that serves as a carrying case for your stove. If you want to clean your power module at home, wipe it down with a damp cloth, but don't submerge it in water. And if you are using the portable grill, wipe down with a wire brush and always dry thoroughly. Lastly, a few quick safety tips before you're on your way. The Cam Stove 2 is for outdoor use only. If you've got kids with you, great. Have them collect sticks and pine cones for the stove, but let the adults do the actual refueling and burning. When the stove is in use, do not touch any metal parts of the stove. They get really, really hot. If you've got a big flame going, make sure it's downwind of the power module. And lastly, burn regulations vary from park to park and by season. Check with your local ranger for details regarding your specific area. Thanks for watching, and we hope you have a great time in the outdoors with your camp stove too.